In March 1972, Cycle Guide magazine suggested that the Wankel engine would inevitably capture the market of two-wheeled transport. The quote, in principle, could have taken it by storm. But as we know today, this storm did not happen, although rotary engines could have been a good solution for motorcycles. They are compact, have good power for their weight, and have only two moving parts, the rotor and the crankshaft. By the 70s, manufacturers such as Hercules, Suzuki, and Van Veen introduced several models with rotary engines to the public. And the first one to enter the market was Hercules with its W2000 in 1975. Felix Wankel created his initial functional rotary engine in the year 1950, marking a significant milestone. Sachs Company acquired the license to use and implement the new technology, being the sole entity at that time authorized to introduce such developments. The engine has very few moving parts. There are no camshafts, valves, connecting rods, or other components found in any piston engine. The advantage of a rotary engine is its low weight and high power to weight ratio, minimal vibrations, inexpensive production, and compact size. Additionally, there are drawbacks, specifically the high consumption of fuel, the requirement to mix fuel with oil for lubrication, the low torque, and the limited lifespan. In the 70s, after years of debates, the company's engineers decided to implement rotary technology into Hercules' motorcycle lineup and showcased the new engine for the first time at the Fall West 1970 motorcycle show in Cologne. The new 294 cubic centimeter engine produced 27 horsepower and was cooled by an air system. For this purpose, the developers positioned a front axial fan that could operate both at idle and at full throttle. This design allowed to maintain the required temperature in the engine, as rotary engines tend to heat up significantly. Starting with the W2000 injection, an independent lubrication system was installed, consisting of an oil tank and an additional pump. Weighing around 175 kilograms, the Hercules W2000 could accelerate up to 145 kilometers per hour. This engine could not achieve high speeds because its maximum number of revolutions did not exceed 6.5 thousand per minute. Fuel consumption, 7L per 100 kilometers. Engine size, 300 cc. How did Hercules perform on the road? If it weren't for the limited ground clearance, as stated in the Cycle World Review in March 76, the handling of Hercules would have far exceeded the engine's capabilities. Insufficient torque issue is evident in the following scenarios. Suppose you're traveling at a speed of 100 kilometers in sixth gear. There's a car ahead that needs to be overtaken. Performing this maneuver without shifting down two gears will only allow you to pass if the driver maintains their speed. Even a slight press on the pedal will result in the end of the situation. Quote from the same Cycle World Review.
From 1974 to 1977, Hercules sold around 1,800 motorcycles, even though this model is labeled as the year 1979 everywhere. Despite slow sales and a high price of $1,900, the Hercules W2000 made history as a pioneer of rotary and engine technology. Due to the lack of experience with the Wankel engine, insurance companies of that period classified the Hercules W2000 as a motorcycle with a 882cc engine capacity instead of 294. This larger number represents the overall engine output power, not just the combustion chamber volume. As a result, insurance costs in many countries were on par with the most powerful superbikes of that time, despite significantly lower output power. W2000 was primarily sold to individuals who were interested in the unique and quirky nature of the engine. Unfortunately, the sales were not very good. It was easier to find much faster, more economical and cheaper motorcycles. There is also information about a rare off-road modification produced in limited quantities and sold by the American distributor Penton Motors around 1975. In 1977, the Hercules 2000 model did not die out. Norton Company acquired all assets, as they were impressed by the rotary motorcycle. British developed many small displacement rotary motorcycles, launched successful models into production. With rotary engine, they clinched titles in British Superbike Championship and British F1. Norton RCW 588 won Senior TT at Tourist Trophy in 92 and Superbike Championship in 94. 